the Uluru Statement from the Heart was a game changer in the nation's history in terms of constitutional reform, but also in Australia's democratic history. The reforms set down in the Uluru Statement were voice treaty truth, we, we call them for brevity, a, a constitutionally enshrined voice to parliament, a Makarata commission that would supervise a process of agreement making and truth telling. What the Uluru Statement did in 2017 was set down an agenda that has been well rehearsed by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island, Islander peoples over many, many decades. We know that the call for a voice to parliament is as common and historically lengthy as the call for a treaty. And equally, the call for a truth-telling process in Australia is not uncommon in the agenda um, for reconciliation. And globally, the experience and the literature tells us that you can't contemplate reconciliation without addressing two key pillars, truth and justice. And the reforms were ranked voice to parliament first, agreement making second, and truth telling third. So that was the framework, voice, treaty, truth. And then we did something different. We were initially gonna hand the Uluru Statement and the reforms as we have in the past. We we're gonna put it on a bark petition or some kind of wooden object and hand it to the Prime Minister and the opposition leader. Now, the opposition leader, Prime Minister, and all the premiers had sought to come to Uluru, to Murujulu, for the closing ceremony. But we, then we, did, we decided a different tact after having multiple conversations at The Rock. And that was, we're going to issue the Uluru Statement to the Australian people. And the logic behind that was the law and poli policy inertia that exists in contemporary liberal democracy, but particularly when it comes to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander affairs. So we spent a while drafting a logical argument as to why we want Australians to support the reform. And that is what the Uluru Statement from the Heart was. It is a call to all Australians to read the statement, to read the logic of the reform, and help us convince our democratically elected representatives that this is the way to go in terms of structural reform.